the future feels closer than it used to. Our ultimate goal is to produce electrical power with just tap water. Just feet away from Austin's historic power plant, scientists Charlie Jarrett and Andrea Hanisch discuss what was once considered science fiction. We're creating a miniature sun. Fusion energy. When you think about fusion energy, you're thinking about two atoms being forced together under extreme heat and pressure until eventually they combine, releasing energy. The universe doesn't want us doing fusion. The ability to confine something for just long enough to allow it to happen has proven to be, you know, one of the greatest challenges over the past, you know, 100 years or so. Charlie and Andrea work for Austin-based Focused Energy, one of eight companies the Department of Energy chose to make fusion power a reality. The DOE is leveraging the speed and flexibility of private industry to really advance fusion energy. It gave the companies $46 million. The goal is a fusion pilot plant, so uh, an actual plant that's putting energy on the grid via fusion. Each of the companies are attempting a different method to create fusion. We use um, a bunch of extremely intense lasers and we shine them at a pellet of frozen hydrogen. One laser provides pressure, while the other provides heat. The temperatures required are on the order of 50 million degrees. As fusion occurs in the fuel, it releases energy that heats up the surrounding chamber. They end up hitting um, a thing to boil water and spin a turbine, just like any other energy producing facility. Modern nuclear power plants use fission reactions, where atoms are split, releasing deadly radiation and energy in the process. Fusion, however, is clean energy and its fuel source is all around us. Water straight out of a tap, water in that river right there. We, we have enough to power, you know, at a, at a rate 50 times better than our fossil fuel energy production. More energy, less damage, all being built in our own backyard. In downtown Austin, Eric Hendrickson, KXAN News.